hello my people thank you so much for joining my channel um today i'm going to show you how i can i restore or clean and repurpose this um aquarium that i bought second hand so as you can see it's like super dirty but don't worry i'm gonna clean it up um and we're gonna get it looking real good um so i grab my pressure washer and start cleaning it really well i clean the rocks really well the glass um, it was full of sand and there was like dead little crab parts and stuff in there so i wanted to get that as clean as possible um the filter and everything that it came with you know i just want to make sure it's nice and clean um this is the little sand that it came with and so now i'm going to show you the 10 gallon that i am going to be changing off so this is my 10 gallon um it's very heavily planted but it does have one big mountain that is not real and i want it to be fully natural in there and so we're gonna be kind of changing it up and giving our fish some upgrades so first things first we're gonna get the fish out of the 10 gallon um and so i'm safely removing them the best i can of course it's always a hard time so i gotta like take everything out so that i can get the last little ones out of there safely And so then after that is all clean, I take out the old tank and I put the new one in its place. And then I start with some um, aquarium soil. Obviously this is so that the plants can kind of help have something to root down into. Um, after looking at this, I probably should have added some more. Um, it's a bit thin, but you know, for next time. I'm also gonna add some root Tabs. This is going to help the roots kind of have the nutrients that it needs and encourage more growth um, for the plants to continue to, to grow and be nice and flourish. Um, then this is the same rocks that were on my 10 gallon so I just kind of added it to give it some height. And then I go in with um, some aquarium sand. Then these rocks are natural. They came from my backyard. Um, I just washed them really well with the pressure washer um, and as well as some wood that I found which did clean it really well and I had it sitting in water um, for about a week or so so it would get waterlogged um, and so I'm just putting everything together trying to make sure that there's plenty of little caves and little places for the fish to hide and then of course plants is probably my favorite part of the aquarium and so I did get a lot of plants for this tank and so I had a lot of fun trying to figure out where to put them and figure out what kind of look I wanted to give my tank. And so I got some green ones, a few of colored reds, um, but it was lots of fun. So for the little ones, um, I just kind of put some glue on there. You can put some super glue and it won't hurt the plant or the fish in there. So the next thing's next, we fill up the tank with water. Um, I had, did have some floaty plants, um, which does do, it can happen, so I was just trying to put them back in there so that we can, um, you know, proceed. So this is going to be a fish in cycle, um, so I didn't have really the space to put the other tank out in and then wait a whole month. Um, I did put the old tank in so that there would be beneficial bacteria. Um, and I just put the little fit, um, shrimp in there. And the temperature is good, so the little fishies can go in there. And it's my Molly and his little friends. And so they're just swimming around. The water was cloudy, um, so it did take about a week for it to clear up. Um, these are some floaty plants that I put up there. And this is the final look. So as you can see, it cleared up really nicely. I did end up getting some more um, fishy friends. And so that's what it looks like now. They have so many little caves and they absolutely love it. They are very, very happy fishies. And I am so, so excited. So thank you guys so much for watching and please like and subscribe below. Thanks so much.